So we've just looked at two flats which you've chosen. Now, ordinarily on the top of it, it just looks like they're two quite nice flats and they'll rent out for, for a good income. So you, you get a good return on your money. But you brought us here for a different reason. And that's mainly because of the location. So what's the plan? How, how, do, you, how do you get max out of these flats rather than just standard rent? So the option potentially with these one bit apartments would be to do what we call service accommodation. So, so where is a buy to let you'd be renting to a couple or a family for say, in this case, probably on average for these apartments, 500 pound a month, which is still a very good return on your money. Yep. We'll we run through the numbers properly once uh, we put pen to paper a bit later. What we'd look to potentially do is service accommodation. Uh, and that is, it's almost like a traveler's Airbnb, but where we're next to the airport and the NEC here, potentially you'll get companies that obviously have send their workers and that's a huge uh, exhibitions yep. in the area. Um, and hotels are very expensive. Uh, uh, and, and full a lot of the time. Um, okay. So, y so, what's, so basically, two properties on, yep. the, on the face of it. Yeah. Yeah, okay, quite nice. Return a nice rental on a long-term rent let. Yep. But by being particular about the location, looking at what transport links are on your doorstep, um, being creative with how you market it, mm. you can then suddenly push that up. Absolutely. And as well as just being creative uh, with your location, the way you market it, there, if you're going to do anything like a specialist property project like this, uh, HMOs, service accommodation, you, you got to look at the property and you've got to factor in you know i want this to jump out of the advert there are other people doing this so you always okay. got to look how can you do it better one obviously price and affordability and cost effectiveness sure. don't be greedy you don't need to be sure but hire the right people hire the right team yep. to set up the property okay the decoration has got to look a bit like a, a boutique hotel well, there is a boutique hotel in this area for that sort of week of your your exhibitions is going to cost you minimum a minimum 100 to 200 pound a night depending yep. exactly where you're staying in, in regards to location uh, other hotels and bits would probably be 250 pound a night depending sure. what week and exactly what's on at the NEC okay um, so for not a lot of money you, you need to be creating that hotel boutique environment nice kitchen stock the fridge up with bottles sure. of water one of, the, clean. One, one of the things i said to you outside that property so mm. it looks absolutely super inside there's no doubt about mm. it but the outside is not it's not bad but it's not fantastic it's not like walking into you know the radisson no um how, how you know so if you roll up you if you book this uh, on booking.com or airbnb mm. and you roll up outside how important is is what you see your first impressions and and do you need to to sort of curb people's expectations to that or not? I, I think it's very important to do that. I mean, you're going to be selling the whole room on actually a really comfortable bed and luxury internal living. As for the outside of the place, sure, you don't want burnt out cars and dead dogs hanging no, from the trees and no, bits sure. like that. Uh, location is key. But really you're selling on the affordability, it's warm, it's comfortable, it's safe, sure. uh, and the area is nice. As for the outside of the property not looking like a hotel, well you're not paying a hotel, you're not, you're not stopping a hotel, sure. you're, it's affordable, cost effective, but really nice. And you've got the location. Living, and you've got the location. Okay, if people want to get involved and in, have a little look at this, this is what you do? This is what I do, so, uh, and myself and my team, we work very hard with our customers in this specialist market, sure. uh, and it is a specialist property market. You've got a website, yep, which we can put yep. on here cashflowproperties.co.uk. Okay, well, we'll put the details down on mm. here somewhere or wherever it appears. Yep, um, so they can get in touch with you if they want to. Yep, um, we'll wrap this up now because we're going to go up to uh, Leak, uh, which is just above Stoke on Trent, because there's another property. Um, we want to look at or Jason wants to look at which is basically one house has turned into two flats um, and that we, we, again you're thinking maybe sort of uh, holiday lets or I'm thinking or, holiday debts or down the service accommodation route okay so all right we do the numbers a bit later all right we'll come back a bit later and um, hopefully when we talk again we'll be in leak so 
catch you in Leek. Cheers. Okay, we've just arrived in this fantastic market town uh, of Leek um, in Staffordshire. Yep. Okay, now the property we're going to have a look at, I think Jason is that way or is it that way? It's very close to the town centre where we are now. Good question. I think so it is. We think it's just that way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it's got to be one of them. Yeah. We'll find yeah. it. We'll yeah. find yeah. it. Yeah. But you have to join us next week for that because for the time being, we're going to sign off. Tune in next week when we'll have a look inside this uh, house in Leek and um, we'll, we'll go through exactly what we're going to do with the property. Okay. Brilliant. All right. Join us next week and uh, take care. Cheers. Bye for now. now. Bye.